hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking if today is your first time please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel so in today's video we're going to be doing a wig revamp so i have i have this wig for a very long time but i abandoned it so i was like okay let me take this wig out and see what i can do to it so just in case any of you have one of this wig i'm going to be showing you how you can actually transform or revamp this wig to a very new wig so i'm going to be showing you i'm going to be inserting a clip of how the finished look it after i was done treating the wig okay yeah this is how it looks at the end of the day so i'm just going to be walking you through what i did so the first thing i did was to sit down i sat down and i combed out every single cause from the closure down to the hair like comb out every single curl make sure you detangle every hair from every hair on this wig so after that i shampooed the hair i washed it i used my tresemme shampoo to wash it you gotta wash 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 until you show that it's cleaned i washed i think twice yeah so it's just the closure that was squeezing don't squeeze the hair just wash it the way i'm washing it because if you don't want it to tangle all over again for you to start detangling so you just kind of like deep deep you raise it you dip it into the water back down you bring it up you dip it back down and make sure you hold it by the closure just the way i was holding it with my left hand hold the hair by the closure so that it doesn't mix up i don't know how to explain this so that it doesn't so that you don't have to be looking for where the head is where the closure is so i just hold it by the closure you dip you raise you dip you raise that's how you wash basically and I squeeze the closure, I kind of rub the closure against each other just to wash out all the product that built up there. I washed out all the foundation, the concealer, the glue and all of that from the closure. So after that, I'm just going to deep condition, I'm going to apply living condition on the hair and then allow it to sit. Okay, I'm just going to rinse it first. Yeah, you have to rinse it first before you deep condition. So for conditioner, I'm still going to be using the Tresemme conditioner to condition this. So I'm just going to apply um, a lot of it, though I, I have only little left, but it's still going to go a very long way. So I'm just going to add water and a light to soak. I'm just going to allow the hair to sit in the conditioner for, I think, I think I left it for like one hour, two hours, yeah. So I'm just going to let it sit in the conditioner. So at this point, one would think the hair is bad. My sister was like screaming that the hair is bad, it's, as in I've spoiled it. But not to worry, it's going to come back to life by the time I use leave-in conditioner on it. So don't worry. If you have, if you see your hair like this, don't panic. It's going to come back to life by the time you're done conditioning and deep conditioning. Like I said earlier, do not panic. Just allow the hair. By the time you're done with this deep conditioning, applying um, enough conditioner on the hair, it will come out the coils will bounce back okay so now after like about an hour or two i can't remember clearly so i'm just gonna part give it the parting bring out the parting and then comb the closure because i think the closure is not very original but we are still gonna make it work so to revamp your hair all you need is patience you have to be patient to get the results you desire from this hair because looking at this hair right now you will want to throw it away you do you wouldn't want to like spend your time or be like you want to give up on this hair but just have patient comb it all out and then you will have your former hair back so that's what i'm doing i'm just taking my time to to comb out every to comb out the hair to detangle the hair because after washing and squeezing the closure to take out all the build up product it's kind of like um um 
tangled the hair all the more but not to worry i'm just going to take my time and detangle it carefully and while you're detangling this thing you have to still be careful not to board the closure all the more you can see how the coils are becoming you can see how the coils are coming back to life they are beginning to come back so that's how you're going to take your time to comb out all the closure because why spend money to get another hair when you can easily take care of this one when you can easily treat this one to come back to life so all you need is patient you have to have much of this patience to get the best from a bad hair So after I was done with the closure, I used my hands to comb the hair. I ran, I ran my hands through the hair to define the coils all the more. So this is how, I'm going to be showing you how it's looking up front. Yeah, definitely you're going to have fallouts. So this is the wig close. This is how it's looking. You would think it's a brand new wig. See, amazing result, right? I can't wait to rock this wig all over again. So yeah, the wig is dried now. This is how it's looking after the hair is dried. So I'm going to be showing you. Okay, let me show you the front part of the hair. Yeah, this is the front view. Isn't it cute now? Yeah, the parting space is not much. It's just very short. So this is how it looked before and then this is the after. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.